What's going on, everybody? It's our Mike. It has been over a month of time since I made my video about these RunMuse Bluetooth on-ear headphones. Um, again, thank you, RunMuse, for sending these out way back when. Uh, they liked the video I made on the unboxing. They definitely wanted me to make sure I put out there what my thoughts were on these. And again, these, you guys know, I post these type of review videos, especially even if it's something that's sponsored. I post all these videos on YouTube. Um, I don't post the stuff on Amazon just because I do make long videos. I don't make them short. Um, anyway, uh, my final thoughts on these suckers. Uh, I think they're rated for 20-hour battery life, if I remember right. Maybe a little less than that. Let me see here. Nope, 20 to 24 hours of playtime. I had actually gotten 30 hours of playtime on these suckers. And the way I did that was over 15 days of usage at 2 hours a day. And I was not playing them at 100% because I did not want to blow my ears out. I was playing them about 75%. They would be around my neck or on my head. Um, actually covering my ears. Uh, most of the time if I had them at 75%, They'd be around my neck, just sitting there. That way I could still hear the audio, but I could still hear what was going on around me when I'd be at work or at home. Most of the time when I'm at home, though, I'm going to put these on my head and just drown out anything in the background. But, uh, yeah, so over 15 days of use, two hours per day. That included some of my weekends as well. I got that much time out of them. Um, and I know for their testing, a lot of these headphone manufacturers, they probably rate their time frame based on... If you're playing them at maybe 50% volume or maybe 75. I know some people out there, other uh, sites test headphones, and most of the time they'll test them at 100% audio, which I mean, yeah, that's could ruin these drivers on any headphones over time. But um, yeah, I broke these in about 50% to 75% volume. Uh, I had the Bluetooth volume on my device turned up all the way, but the volume on these, on this unit, I kept at 75%. So that way, I would be getting the max, I wouldn't be using the max volume on these because I didn't want to destroy them. So, but yeah, that was uh, that pretty much. And then as for uh, ear fatigue to these, they do have a little, they do have some play to it. It is mainly a plastic build construction with a nice, uh, I want to say vinyl padding. Yeah, it's a vinyl padding with some cushion in there, which isn't bad. But if you wear these more than two hours, yeah, you're going to start to feel these putting pressure on your ear. That is for sure. Um, so about after three hours, you'll start to feel some ear fatigue. Your ears might start hurting. So that is a thing to keep in mind. And then as for sound quality, I'd say the mids on these were good. Um, for my, you guys, if you are familiar with my scale, I rate it on a zero plus for if it's good audio. And if it's negative, it would be a negative. So anywhere from zero to five or six, so to say. Um, so for audio, the mids were good. I'd say they were plus two, and the highs were okay. Um, I'd say they're a plus one, um, maybe do a plus three. It really depends on the audio you're listening to, whether you're listening to good high quality audio that you're trying to stream over Bluetooth, or if it's a, a basic MP3 file where everything might be flat. Uh, that's really going to depend because some of your songs, some songs you listen to, might already be quite loud. So then you're then pushing these drivers even further. And you might hear stuff kind of get a little tingy on the high end. But for the most part, they were pretty good. And then the bass, I'd say, is just a flat even zero. So it's not bad, but uh, not the best. So that's where I rest on those. And for the cost, for 30 bucks, honestly, less than $30, so like $26, $27, uh, these aren't bad. Honestly, not a bad Bluetooth. Um, for the microphone and the call quality... Uh, my wife called me one day and she said, like, with some background noise going, she's like, it sounds like you're in a you're in a tunnel or you're somewhere where it's busy. She's like, I don't hear you that well. So noise isolation on these uh, through the microphone is not the best. So people will have trouble hearing you. If you're in a quiet room, it'd be okay. But anything where there's commotion or noise, uh, your call quality from your end going to whoever you're talking to might not be so good. So... But overall, yeah, these Run Muse are good. They're out of, I've only tested a few sets of on ear Bluetooth headphones before, but out of these ones, they're not bad. I like them. Uh, the LED indicator, like we went over in the last video, is below your controls. Uh, it does use micro USB for charging. You have volume up, volume down, your power button, uh, push and hold for power until you hear it power down. Do the same thing to power up. 
There is no access to your assistant through these. You don't have any physical voice for when there's no talking for when you power these on or when they say pairing. It's all just by tones, so keep that in mind. Um, besides that, though, yeah, when these get low on battery life, they will chirp at you, telling you they're running low. And if you pull them off and look at them, you'll see your Bluetooth indicator turn red. It'll just blink red when they're low on juice. So overall, though, these run muse, they are good. I will definitely be hanging on to these. They will hang around with some of my tech stuff, and I might need them again. Like if I'm going on an airplane, I don't want to plug in, or depending on what devices I'm using, if I want to connect these to my tablet, I can do that. Uh, for the latency with that, when it comes to that part, um, watching videos on these with my V30 actually was not bad. There was not much of a latency. It wasn't like you were watching a, a uh, transcribed... Um, Japanese movie or something where they're trying to transcribe the English and match it up with the with the lip movement so it wasn't bad with the latency when it comes to watching YouTube on these so and if you ever run out of juice you still can plug in the micro USB into the 3.5 jack that it came with which I don't think I have over here no I don't have it right here I think it's probably in my bag still in my work bag but I have that around somewhere but yeah you can plug that in if you have a 3.5 headphone jack so that's something awesome too. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Hopefully that answers some questions. If any of you were waiting on these, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more headphone videos. Uh, I have one more wired earbud video I want to post, and I think that might be it unless something else comes my way or you guys say otherwise. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me here on uh, YouTube, and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you all in the next video.